Howdy folks, Doc here with LastPass Tool. And this is the Joya Lens JL249 digital microscope. It's a fairly large digital microscope. In fact, you can see with my hand here, uh, the screen alone is uh, almost nine inches by over five inches. So it's a pretty good screen. And of course, uh, it does have HDMI out should you wanna plug it into a larger monitor. Um, razor sharp, in fact, this will shoot Video resolution, I can get Ultra HD at 2800, 2880 basically by 2160 at 24 frames a second or, uh, you know, down to a regular HD uh, at 120 frames a second shooting at uh, 1280 by 720. On, on the still image resolution, just taking, you know, a picture, uh, it shoots in the JPEG format. By the way, it shoots MPEGs in, uh, or MP4s, excuse me, in the video. Um, but it records to a, an SD card, and I can shoot up to 24 megapixels with um, the still image. So that's pretty amazing. Power supply, like I said, is just standard 5-volt five, five USB at a 2-amp or higher, which is most things now, unless you've got older stuff. Um, it's a very lightweight system. If anything, you know, that would be uh, something to watch. The stage, the base... Um, it's all lightweight, which means it works great, except it's very susceptible to, uh, to motion, and I'll show you that. But otherwise, um, what we've got is an amazing ability to magnify things. It has a couple of uh, different lenses, as I pointed out. Um, so you, you can shoot from about 18x all the way up to theoretically using the digital zoom about 4000x. Um, I think that other one's more theory than paper. Theory than uh, possible, paper than possible, but um, your mileage may vary depending on what you're doing. So I'm using it now with an opaque base here. Can pop that out and I'll, I'll show you a slide in a sec, but um, it does allow, uh, you know, just crystal clear images right here. Uh, there's a focus barrel right here on the camera. And then of course I've got the kind of coarse focus on the stage. So if I wanted to back off so you could see more of the more of the penny there if I was, you know, documenting a collection, studying my tools, etc. Um, you can just see just how razor sharp, hopefully, that is. Are you able to see that? Um, it's just super crystal clear. I can take a picture here, right there. I can also use the remote that it comes with if I want um, and take a picture. Um, I can zoom in with the remote as well. And I can adjust the lighting. Maybe if I back off, see what it does. Um, if I want to zip back to the standard lighting, I can just hit the default. It brings it back. So um, I've got tremendous capability with um, a basically a large, you know, 18x on a larger item. But if I pop this thing out, and then there are two set screws. I was only using one, um, knowing I was going to pull this out. But there is the base lens. It's a very small, very light lens. So I can throw this on. And uh, you can see there are two, two set screws that just slide right in at the lines. And I can put the, the screws in. It's that fast. Um, by the way, the whole camera is held in to a collar by two set screws, which I'll show you um, afterwards, which allows you to immediately take this thing apart. And the, the actual focus range here is from 12 millimeters little over a centimeter, to about a foot, or, th or 320 millimeters. So if I pop this out, I can actually use it for other things, um, which is kind of nice. Put it in a different stand. Um, so I'll throw in uh, this other lens set. Put it on a low power, maybe, I guess, right there, so you can see. Now, if I try to do... Uh, I've, I've got two USB lights here, basically, too. So you can't see there's an objective in the way, but... Um, you can see I am using, um, you know, basically a compound microscope objective um, right there to just get a razor sharp, just tack sharp image. I mean, that is truly amazing. Um, I'm stunned actually at how sharp this is. It's just a, a just fun to use, but I can also crank that up. Um, here's a an ant, pull that out. Um, it does come with a, a plastic um, 
two other plastic discs and a white opaque and a kind of a translucent, but I'm just doing the pass through. There is a light at the base here. Um, so I'm gonna throw an ant in there. Just look at that. That is so cool to be able to so quickly see this. Now I am at 1.6X, so I can back off and make this even sharper. Um, I'll go down, there's 1X, but I can bring this up and then refocus here. You check that out. I mean, I might hit my end of my focus barrel and have to go to course again. Maybe I'll make it there. Check that out. Just how amazing that is, the mouthpiece, the antennae, legs, just wild. And that's, that's on a lower power. I can crank it up again um, by rotating this. And then trying to find wherever my ant parts are. Sometimes these things, in fact, I'm gonna switch to something a uh, little easier target. Here's a limewood stem. Throw that on there. Um, and then, where am I? There we should be in here somewhere. There's my slide and where's my stem? I'm actually watching in a couple different places. So here we go. Get it really close. And then I'll focus in on this. You can see it bounces around. That's again that artifact um, of the... Bring it in. Coming in for a landing. There we go. Uh, that's an artifact of the, you know, the, the plasticness of this, which is... Um, it can get frustrating, but it also keeps the price down. Line that up. You can see. There we go. Try doing this one-handed. So just crystal clear. It's a lot clearer on the screen. Um, but you can see uh, just the, the power of this to try to get the cellular structure. Uh, if I went into a, here's a honeybee wing. Let's see what that looks like. If I can just slide that in because it's already set. There we go. That fast on a picture. Take a picture. Got to hit this little dot there. There we go. Um, by the way, I, here's my tool. I used these in order to get that objective out of my other microscope. Um, because I hadn't taken it out in decades. So these actually work great for that, which there are lens pliers designed to hold um, cam or hold glass lenses whether you're working with different kinds of optics. But anyway, th what is this uh, a like to put together? Comes in a small box. Um, well, let's take a look. So first of all, I'm gonna shut it off here. It's got an off button on that side. Let's take a look at the back end of this thing. What I have, I'll turn it off at the power. I can disconnect the power. It's got two pieces, one at the base, one at the, um, uh, on the camera. I've got two set screws here, but first I have to take off the, the uh, objective lenses just so it fits through the collar. You can see it's all um, quite rapidly disassemblable, very simple. Um, so I've got two uh, collar set screws there. Here is the, the camera. You can see on the back, I've got my HDMI. I've got my power input. This is a micro SD card, um, and I've got audio in if I want. Um, here's the focus collar, and you can see um, there are different ways that I could operate this depending on the positioning of the, um, of the lens. So that's pretty cool. And then here is the stand. Very simple design, very lightweight. Uh, the two USB lights just plug into the standard USB-A. Um, so you could uh, conceivably use some other kind of plug-in, I guess, if you want. It's got two spring-loaded uh, slide clamps. 
This right here is the extent of the, the movable stage, which is held on by one screw right there. Comes uh, apart pretty easily. And then this whole aluminum collar just pops off. This slides out. And then the base is held on by two screws there. So it goes together quite easily. Um, I wanted to do a, an assembly, but I'd have to do it almost in you know, uh, time lapse just because I'd be flipping the thing around, but it's, that's it. So putting it back together is just as fast. Dropping the, the camera in. Um, and then plugging the pieces back. So this is the, the Joya lens. It's, it's a pretty amazing microscope. I mean, the more you play around with the small stuff, especially on the lower power, um, just looking at different things. Um, I use it with knife blades, with tools, um, of course with coins. Um, and a lot of minerals, and it's just it's just wild to be able to play around with something this powerful yet this simple. So with that, Doc out. <laughs>